Hi guys, I'm Big Zimo41 and welcome to EAFC. In this video you'll see me play my first match in kickoff mode, um, whereas I, where I play as Wigan against Bolton and I'll be providing my honest review of the first iteration of EAFC. So before I get into the gameplay I just want to mention the graphics, menu design, layout, the graphic, and to be honest the graphics design team have done an amazing job of the aesthetics. The menus feel familiar but they They've been changed enough to make it feel new um, and enough to let you know you've entered a new version of EA football games. You can hear my daughter in the background, but the introduction scenes to the matches are very similar to FIFA 23, but they still do the, uh, the job of building up into the match. Once you're in the match, you'll see a change. You'll see me change the camera very, very quickly because, yeah, that I don't like that camera and it is horrendous. Now to go on to the gameplay a little bit. Um, when I first selected to start the match, I was given an info box that told me that the game engine would automatically change the difficulty throughout the match, and then set my recommended difficulty at the end. Now, as someone who's played FIFA 19 to 23 on World Class, I was quite disappointed to find that EAFC only recommended me to play at professional difficulty. To be honest, you'll see from the gameplay, it's not surprising, um, because I defended like I would if I was in FIFA 23 again. Um, and it actually brings me on to my first lot of observations, which is the defending. Now, defending EAFC seems to have been improved again, in uh, FIFA 23, uh, from FIFA 23, sorry, um, whereas the players will actually respond when you select your in controller input. So, for example, you choose to the tackle, they will actually make a tackle rather than taking two or three steps out of position and then making the tackle when they're out of position and the, defense, uh, the attack has already gone past you. With this, it seems... I, I was very much in the habit of pressing it a little bit earlier than I wanted uh, than I, you would expect, like I would when I was playing FIFA 23. But the response was immediate, so I ended up not being in the right positions when I was trying to make the tackles. And you can see that with the goals I concede. I just I was pressing the buttons and I was nowhere near the player to actually make the tackle in the first place. And this is just because I've had that muscle memory built into me from FIFA 23. Once I get used to that, I can honestly say I think that this is the most balanced the FIFA game has been with defending for a while. You're going to have very few occasions where you're going to have AI attackers walking through your defenders because you just can't make a tackle. Moving on to the attacking models. Now, attacking seems to be a lot smoother as well. Um, again, just for there's a lot less um, controller input delay then your attackers will actually respond when you press the buttons now so when you want to actually pass it won't take two or three steps for it to respond it will actually pass the ball straight away the other thing with the shooting is they seem to have made it a little bit more accurate on in terms of long shot abilities now you'll see here though you'll have seen already that i took quite a long shot with a 64 rated player and it cannon back off the crossbar and when you check this guy's long shot start he had no right to hit it from there um personally i don't think it's broken at the moment but i can see it becoming an issue further down the line however it's not too much of an issue the next thing is more about crossing play now as someone who prefers wing play and crossing it into the box i quite enjoy this change but they seem to have made it a little bit easier for attackers to win the ball in the air which is new music to my ears because it means i can put crosses in and i know i can get headers now it helps in this match that i have charlie wake in the middle of the park and he's got quite a good heading stat and jumping stat but I can see this becoming my default style of play again, and I'm quite happy for that to happen. Um, the final thing to talk about really is set pieces. Um, now set pieces haven't changed much at all. They have the same um, setup, so you choose where you're aiming, and then you add the curl to the ball. 
Penalties haven't changed at all either. It's still the closing circle, and when it hits the green circle, you've got to power up your shot. Um, so that's nice, because I think that was a nice balanced way of doing your free kicks last time round. Overall, um, and I genuinely can't believe I'm saying this, I think EA have actually done quite a good job. They've improved the gameplay to a standard where you can feel like it's a new generation of FIFA. Um, I'm not necessarily saying it's perfect, because by all means it isn't. However, they making steps in the right direction for it to become that classic want you uh, game that you want to buy every year um personally i'm looking forward to make creating my pro club with a few of my friends um but for now guys thank you for watching keep an eye out for more eafc content on my channel as well as on my twitch channel at twitch.tv slash bigz141 take care guys catch you in the next one Has the space to whip it in here. And it's been kept out to deny him the double. He showed really good movement to get himself into those goal scoring positions. Just couldn't quite find the clinical touch there. Played into the box. Another goal. And surely there's no way they can throw this away now. Absolutely dominant. The game restarts amidst a dominant first half performance. The scoreline tells you all you need to know. He's beaten his marker here. Oh, it's a goal! And it was really nicely finished. Well, here's the replay, and he does really well. He takes his man on with ease, and it makes the striker's job relatively easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a really good goal. Could be dangerous. Well, they say one brings two, and there is the perfect example of why. So it's 4-3 now as the game restarts. A free kick awarded here. The refs viewed that as a foul. past the wall and that'll do it the end of the first 45 and the game restarts move look to be building and that's it for now this is looking good now what comes next and that's nicely won to see off the threat well we've seen a top player at the top of his game up to now it's been a performance of the highest quality He's been the standout, the difference between the two teams. And at times he's been unplayable. The goals were clinical and he just looked hungry for more. The counter looks on here, options available. They have to get back at pace. A chance to deliver into the box. Picked out nicely. And it was made easy for the goalkeeper. He's got to do better there. It's such a simple save from the goalie, isn't it? That's been viewed as a foul.
foul, the free kick's awarded. They're not getting close enough here, and that's a shame for them, nothing doing. This to level it. Oh, it's still in there. And a really good opportunity is thwarted by the offside. Side flag. Finds himself with space now. That hasn't got far. Now, there could be a chance to counter. That looks decent, making progress here. A body in the way. This is a good run. Now, can he pick out the right option? Delivered towards the far post. It was put into the right area, but nobody able to capitalise. Excellent reading of the game to win the ball. There's a chance for the breakaway here. They couldn't quite take advantage in the end. Getting into a good position. And there it ends. Got room to operate in here. Having a look. And still the chance might come. Hasn't come to anything. Disappointing. Well, that was a really good save, wasn't it? But they need to get. themselves forward quickly and create some more opportunities if they are going to get themselves back into this. Could be something on. Possession lost just at the point of something happening. A chance now for a quick transition. Now, this has to be. And there it is. All square in the derby. It always delivers. Joyous scenes in the away end. So level pegging as the game kicks off once more. So much given away as cleverly won. Beautifully weighted ball. Now, if they score from this, they'll surely win the game. And the referee blows for full time.
good penalty. Saved. No better feeling for a goalkeeper. And he can turn away having done his bit. And it's been put away. And he's denied them from the spot. It's in. No messing. Oh, it's been hit too high. And away it goes. And clinical from the spot. Good penalty. In it goes to win the game. Nerves of steel. Yeah, he must have been nervous stepping up to take that, but he didn't show it at all. Calm as you like. I'd say they deserved it on the whole as well.